program members meet oh. on Thursdays. Yeah. yeah. You might mention that, you know. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I definitely will. Okay. okay so, so I'm going to give you a tour and tell you mm -hmm. what the Worker Center is about. Great. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Okay. So welcome to the Vermont Worker Center's Burlington office. Um, here it is. We, um, so at the Worker Center, uh, we're a statewide organization. And um, like a lot of times some people will ask like, what is, or where is the Worker Center? And uh, the Worker Center is not a physical location. It's an organization of people who are fighting for their human rights, but we do have a physical office and this is it. Um, and we also, this space isn't just the Vermont Worker Center's office, it's also in a lot of ways a hub for community organizing and labor organizing in the Burlington area. So in addition to the Vermont Worker Center, uh, Migrant Justice also has their office in this building and we share the uh, space with them. We have other groups who you, who we, who are part of our uh, Burlington office space hub, like the UE, the union that represents the um, workers at City Market and workers like at the food shelf and other parts of um, uh, communi the community in Burlington. We also share the office with Parents and Youth for Change, which is an organization of parents and young folks in Burlington. Um, and many, many unions use our office for their meetings and for get-togethers and to plan things. And so it's kind of a community hub here in Burlington, at, but the Vermont Worker Center is a statewide organization and we have members, um, uh, we call them organizing committees. There are little groups of members all over the state that meet and carry out the work of the Worker Center and those are all over the state, um, county by county. But this is the place where the Chittenden County Organizing Committee meets every other Thursday. And, yeah, if you were here, this is probably the quietest it'll ever be. Um, normally there's people on these computers or in that office, in that office, have a little meeting over there, some folks over here making phone calls, getting ready for a big event or something like that. It's a hustling, hustle and bustle in this office usually. What's the next big event? Um, the next time that you probably see a lot of people milling about is at our meetings on uh, Thursday evenings for our members who are part of our organizing committee, which is like the core team of members who are planning our activities in this area. And they're just ordinary people who have joined the Worker Center because they want to fight for human rights together. And we meet here every other Thursday. And at the end of the meeting, we'll usually have food and people will hang out and talk and just spend some time together. And actually, the person who just walked in is Lisa. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. These are our friends from upstairs at CCTV. Oh, and they're just okay. doing a little spotlight on the Worker Center. I don't know. I put you on the spot. but Well, yeah. what I came in for is some of the cards, the universal health care. Oh, OK. Take them to my church because I'm leaving, you know, out of going out of town. But I okay. can leave them at my church because we have a table, you know, where we put oh, social, great. social justice. Sure. So the postcard actually is calling, um, basically, given what's happening in Washington right now with health care, um, people are really worried that they're going to lose access to the care that they have, which is already not adequate and not affordable. And so we're saying more than ever right now, we need to. Uh, we need our governor and legislature to actually implement Act 48, Vermont's universal health care law. And um, these are petitions to the governor and legislature asking them to do that. Uh, but when um, w what we actually use them for is both to, to, to put pressure on the governor and legislature, but also uh, to use as an opportunity to get out and talk to people in our communities, ask what their health care situation is. There's a little place for people to write their personal story and just build relationships and connections because we know that a petition isn't going to win us universal health care, but large numbers of people coming together, working together, and um, having our voices heard is actually what's going to yeah. change that. You have to keep working at it. Yeah. So. Um, 
Do you have more? They're in my car. So, oh, okay, um, so when you're finished off. And my car is not here, I just oh. realized. Let me see. Does, well, does somebody want to go to the church on Sunday? Okay. Do you have your phone on you? Do you yeah, have your cell phone? Do you want to give him a call and yeah. see if he can come back and bring him by? Okay. That'd be great. Okay. <laughs> so, this, this, how, uh, Kate, how did you get involved in the Workers' Center? Um, yeah, why don't you, I'll come sit down. But um, I, um, how did I get involved with the Workers' Center? Well, personally, um, I joined as a member in 2007, which was 10 years ago. And I was a student at UVM at the time, and I was one of those students who is in a massive amount of student debt <laughs> as a result of my time at UVM. And while I was there, um, I learned that um, from a group of students who was organizing that the top administrators at the university were making lots and lots of money. Meanwhile, the folks who work to make the university run, um, the lowest paid workers often had to work two or three jobs just to make the bare minimum of survival. And so, uh, and then meanwhile, I'm going into all this debt, where is all that money going, you know? So it, that didn't seem right to me. And I got involved with a student group that was organizing around livable wages for the workers on campus. And through that, I met folks at the Worker Center and uh, found out about the Health Care as a Human Right campaign. And because my family had really struggled with access to health care, um, because my family had really struggled with access to health care when I was a kid, um, that really hit home for me, and I wanted to join that fight. But um, also what kind of stuck me at the Worker Center, why I'm still here 10 years later, is because uh, it's really a home. It's really a community where um, ordinary people who are struggling to have access to the things that they need to live dignified lives come together to say, this is not the system we want for our world. We have ideas for a better system, and uh, we're going to work together to make that happen. And we have, a, we, we have a plan and a strategy for how we're going to do that. And so that was really what made me stay and why I'm still here, because I still believe that we can do that. And because now I have a community of people, hundreds of people all over the state that were in it together and, and growing. So, the Worker Center is an organization uh, that's about, or how should I say this? So, who the Vermont Worker Center is, is we're a membership organization. We're sort of like a union for the community, it's not based out of one workplace or one kind of worker, but we are an organization for people and when, when we say worker center we sort of use that term broadly to mean anybody who anybody who um, is you know working unemployed retired on disability for whatever reason um, a, a young people um, we're the ones that we don't currently own enough to just survive we need to work or do something else to be able to to be able to get the things we need to live and live and survive and so that's what we mean by workers at the worker center and right now what we see is that our system in this society in this country is such that most people can't do that there's a vast amount of inequality and uh, there's some very wealthy people and then there's lots and lots of us who don't have what we need and so when you look at, you could look at, there's lots of different issues <laughs> that affect our communities, um, the ways that we struggle to make a living, the ways that we struggle to ac access health care, um, the ways that racism divides us and pits us against each other and is very dangerous and harmful to many people in our communities, the way our immigration system forces uh, people into very um, difficult situations. And so we, um, at the worker center see that all though as part of one system where the, there's a wealthy few that make decisions that affect all the rest of us and we don't get a say in the decisions that affect our lives and then if we had a greater voice and we had a system that was actually based on human rights and based on meeting people's needs um, for everybody um, 
that we would be able to overcome that. And so we've actually chosen the Healthcare as a Human Right campaign as a place to really focus on because we think it has the potential to set an example for that. So many of us are impacted by healthcare in different ways, so it's an opportunity for us to come together around something we have in common. It's an opportunity for us to set an example of how our system could work um, that's not about making profit for insurance companies, but rather for actually providing care and a human need for those of us in our communities. So even though healthcare is the thing that we're really focused on right now, um, it's not just about healthcare. It's about healthcare as an example of how we want to see the world work in general. Um, so that's, um, that's a big part of what we're doing right now. And so uh, in order to do that, we believe that we need to be organized. We actually can't um, if we took all of the activists and all of the people who have been coming out to marches and rallies, many of them, which has been so inspiring over the last few months, and we all got together, um, even then that wouldn't be enough people to make change. What we see our task at the Worker Center is that we have to go out and talk to those folks in our communities who are struggling to meet their needs and struggling with health care and other issues, um, but not yet. Um, not yet seeing themselves as part of a movement to change that and not yet having their voice be part of the conversation about what should be different and how we should get there. And so we're going out, um, like Lisa mentioned, going to her church to talk to people, to ask them to sign petitions and see if they want to get involved. But we also have been getting out all over the state, knocking on doors um, in communities and talking to people. And right now um, we're asking people to come out to uh, the Green Mountain Care Board hearings to share their stories about how the health care crisis is impacting them, and that's one of many things we're doing to build that drumbeat for universal health care. Where, where are the Green Mountain Care Board meetings? Um, the Green Mountain Care Board meets in Montpelier um, once a month on Thursdays, and um, this time every year in July, the uh, insurance companies request rate increases. They want more money for health care plans, money that comes from us, people try already struggling to afford health care. And the Green Mountain Care Board has to approve them, and they hold a public hearing on whether or not they should do that. Right now, Blue Cross Blue Shield is requesting over 12% on average rate increase for their insurance plans, which I don't know if you've heard, but most people in Vermont aren't getting a 12% raise <laughs> this year, so uh, and healthcare is already pretty unaffordable. So we're mobilizing people to come out and share their stories about why we not only need to not raise the rates on our current health insurance plans through Vermont Health Connect, but we actually need to scrap that system altogether and move towards a universal healthcare system. That's great, Kate, because yeah. most of us don't know about these raises until we get the uh, the, uh, <laughs> That's the right. notice in the mail. That's right. Yeah, and so. We're going to be getting folks to come out and share their stories and hopefully make an impact on that, but more than anything, get connected to each other so that we can continue that struggle together. That's great, Kate. Thank yeah. you for inviting us. Yeah, thank you for coming by.